again on another dangerous breakdown. Now, we go talk about the supposed alcohol addiction that they got for the masses. And I already told you, that's a big order of chaos for the masses. And for you to get the order right now with them supposedly be going to give you some medication. Swapping this right here for basically, you know, drugs. Switching alcohol for drugs. I don't know if you think that's a good idea, but the BAM is here. I'm going to show you some things, what they got for the masses. Every complication that you have, anything that you have in life, that you face in life, they're going to have a vaccine or a medication for it. That's the new world you win. So we go talk about the alcoholism right here because I already told you it's a chemical that gets you addicted to it. That's what's in the alcohol, addicted chemical, just like drugs. And now when you're addicted to it, now they're going to put you on dope. 100% bullshit for the masses. Like I say, all the other chaos. Let's get into this right here and break it down. See if they're going to come to your rescue for alcoholism. Watch this. If you have diabetes or depression, mm -hmm. medication might be part of your treatment. And you don't understand. A lot of those caused by the same alcohol. You got to understand that. Keep you up at night like you can't sleep. Of course, it will cause depression. And don't worry about diabetes. With these alcohols that they give you. Most of it is treated sugar. Pay attention here. But for people suffering from alcohol abuse disorder, mm -hmm. medication is rarely prescribed. Mm -hmm. Ali Rogan reports on the potential that medication holds for treating this disease and why it's underused. Wow. Nearly Take a 30 listen. million Americans struggle and with alcohol. Of course, 30 million right on the money Freemasonry. But pay attention, that's a mockery, people. 100% when they can tell you that's over 30 million. People in America addicted to alcohol and they're still selling it. They still have it on the table. Why? If that's such a big problem and hurting mankind, why they still produce it? Nobody understands. Listen this. Alcohol addiction and the problem has steadily gotten worse, mm -hmm. accelerating since the pandemic began. And yep. yes, and of course, like I tell you about the destruction they call the pandemic, something to put these dangerous things in place. You have to understand. They already know they lock you up in your home. They know what you're going to do there. So yes, it's part of the masses destruction. Like I tell you, sit there, binge watching these TV shows and getting fat, eating those pies and food. Same thing, drinking alcohol, watching these games and these entertainment that they have for you, all by design. And now they're going to give you a medication for it. Again. Less than 5% of people reported getting treatment of any kind. Mm -hmm. But drugs used to treat alcohol use wow. disorder have been on the market for decades mm -hmm. and more are currently being studied. You see that? They have more studies to put more drugs on the masses for alcoholism. And they tell you they have some out there for before, but people wasn't really taking them. But like I say, it's the new world now. They introduce them and people probably be like, nah, I'm not going to get off alcohol and get on drugs. Same kind of addiction shit for the masses, so they didn't jump on it. But in these times, it's totally different. You have to understand that they can implement anything they want. Like I say, using all the other chaos, that's their motive. That's how they work. Listen. Sarah Wakeman runs the Substance Use Disorder Initiative at Massachusetts General mm -hmm. Hospital Brigham. Thank you so much, Dr. Wakeman, for joining us. First Mr. of all, Wakeman. let's talk about how mm -hmm. the medical community defines alcohol use disorder and also what mm -hmm. have the trend lines been? Has the problem gotten more uh, prevalent since the pandemic began? Mm -hmm. The definition of alcohol use disorder is compulsively using alcohol despite problems. Hear it's that, people? Listen. Take a listen again. Go back. Listen to what this one say right here. Understand what they're telling you. They're the one who destroying you. Listen. Since the pandemic began. Mm -hmm. The definition of alcohol use disorder is compulsively using alcohol despite problems. Despite, despite the problem, you're still using the alcohol. That's what they call addiction. And like I say, people, if you're going to wait till it's supposed to be a problem for you to know that you're addicted, then you're stupid. You're addicted to it because you keep going back to it. You won't stop. That's addiction. Not because it caused a problem. The problem is there. You just didn't discover it yet. Again, listen. Those can be problems in your life, like mm -hmm. in your relationships, uh -huh. your ability to work. Yes, work. and that's what they're trying to tell you, that happiness in the bottle, the alcohol going to stop everything. Just like they tell you the cigarette is a stress pack. Basically, when you have stress, you pull out a cigarette. Same thing they give you right here with the alcohol. Every problem you have, oh, you have to go drink it. Drink away your problem, drink away this, all bullshit for the masses. That's what they set you up to do. So every time you feel like you have a problem, you go to the alcohol 
put more problem on your body. Pay attention here. Yeah, your functions mm -hmm. or in your health. So continuing to use alcohol despite mm -hmm. known health, either mental or physical health mm -hmm. problems that are exacerbated by use. So, so but, but, but hold on, people. A lot of people kind of understand what the end of the result going to be with this alcohol. They already know. A lot of people know that, but they're still on it. Why? It got addicted substance in there. That's what chemical is, people. Do you know that when you smoke the tobacco, supposedly that they give you a cigarette? It's not really tobacco, but it's chemical made up. Why you think you're addicted to it? That nicotine is a chemical. It makes you addictive. They have another one for the alcohol, people. All of these things got, got, got supposedly, you know, something there to attract the body and fool the mind. Enough to always want it. The same thing with food, people. That's what happened when they start using chemical to make food. People becomes addicted. Do you see how people act in those fast food places? That's addiction, people. 100% addiction to chemical. Chemicals cause addiction. That's what it is. It's poisonous chemical. They give you for alcohol, 100%, bam. Many health conditions mm -hmm. and many areas of substance use disorder, we've mm -hmm. seen worsening trends since the onset of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And this is true both for heavy drinking and mm -hmm. also alcohol use disorder and health conditions related to alcohol use. You hear that, One people? Of them Even if you don't see that health-related problem from the alcohol use, it's there. Like I say, people, a whole lot of things that happen into the masses' body they have no idea. Some people come and say, oh, I'm fit as a horse. No, you don't know shit. You're drinking and you're smoking and you're fit as a horse. You don't get it, people. It's something that destroys your body slowly. That's how they make it. They make you to die at a certain age. You might have a little bit of advantage to pass that threshold that they put you to be. Or, or the, the, the length that they give you in this earth, you probably go over it by a little bit. But that's it, people. They know, they put the estimate on the human being life because of these things that they feed in you. And everybody should know by now that there's nothing good about alcohol. And I'm always going to say this, it tastes the worst. It got the worst taste in the world and you're still on it. I don't get it, people. That's to show you something. Look at the cigarette. The cigarette got the mark on the back. It show you a damn dead sign and show you, listen, this is going to kill you. They never say if or maybe. They say, yes, this is going to cause you some deadly cancer, the chemical in it. And the people still addicted to it. They still smoke it. Why you think that happened? They already know. The substance in there is too strong for your little mind to control. Why you think people go to addict addiction center and all these things, rehab? Why you think that, people? So they're trying to admit to the people that, listen, this thing that you put in a bottle, this thing that you put in the cigarette, all of these things, this thing that you put in the drugs, uh -uh, it got me. There's no way you can get away from it because you're addicted to it. Do you get it? So yes, they have to give you pills to try to get you off alcohol. You understand that, people? What kind of life is we live in these times? They swap one destruction for the another. Scary trends we've seen actually soon after the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. we saw an increase in alcohol related mortality, yes, they which know. is largely driven mm -hmm. by liver disease or liver failure. Yes, and that's why a lot of people losing their organs nowadays, people. Yes, they pick up this alcohol thing. I see people close to me do that. They pick up this alcohol shit in the pandemic, addicted all the way, just pass out, drop, mash out teeth, every damn shit. I don't understand, people. It's time for us to take our life back. Stand up strong on your feet. Don't let them tie you to anything in this satanic earth. Don't be addicted to anything in here. What you love more than your damn soul in this earth? Listen this right here. People might not be so aware that medication is mm -hmm. available yes. to address go. alcohol use there disorder. How has mm -hmm. medication been used historically mm -hmm. in the United States? Listen. It's vastly underutilized. So mm -hmm. you talked about your opening. We have millions of people who meet criteria for alcohol use disorder. Mm -hmm. Fewer than 8% really access treatment in a given year. And of those I don't understand, people. Look at all these corners that they're bending and going around. All because they don't want to get rid of the alcohol. Can you believe that, people? Somebody please tell me this. This is common sense here. What help does the alcohol do to the people? What good? 
please tell me, man. This is, this is a serious question. What good does alcohol do to the people? Remember, you could have some things where you say, you know what? It's a double-edged sword has caught into how you use it. You know, it could be good or bad. No, the alcohol is all bad. Somebody please tell me what the goodness is in alcohol. And that's what they sell you. And I show you already. They give you some, you know, TV stars and entertainers and all. All of them going to be able to sell you some alcohol. Whether you sit there watching a movie and see how they act towards alcohol and you're also involved. Remember, that's how they used to advertise cigarettes back in the days. They don't have a commercial that sells you to smoke. They show you the stars in the movie always light up one. So yes, that's how they do it, people. They find a way to sell you that alcohol. You see it in the movies, TV shows and all. Yes, I want to drink away my problem, all of these things. You want to have fun. If basically, they tell you it's happiness in a bottle. And now look. Now you're addicted, they're coming with medication, drugs, hard drugs to get you hooked on that drugs and take you off the alcohol. But they will never take alcohol off the table. It never do anything good for the masses. It's not a double-edged sword. It's one way, chop your damn head off, destruction. Do you get it? Nothing good about alcohol and they won't move it. So that should tell you that it's devil people running the earth. 2% of people access treatment with medications. And there's lots of reasons for that. But it is one area of medicine that mm -hmm. really doesn't make its way to people who need it most. What Can you tell us shit. about the drugs that are already available to treat mm -hmm. alcohol use disorder? And why aren't they prescribed more readily wow. here? Wow, alcohol use disorder. Wow, they could never tell you you're not supposed to use it, period. You're not supposed to... Drink the alcohol. No, they say it's disorder. So there's an other way to, look, to hook on the alcohol. There's an other way to do it. Wow. Unbelievable here, people. Wow. So yes, people, if you can, you know, put your drinking in order, then you're good. But if it's a disorder, you're bad. You're in trouble. Wow. So listen, people, I'm always going to tell you, these people never going to come up with a solution. They only had things that make the problem worse. And the thing that we're basically discussing here, it shall get worse. Why? These people is not helping. The solution is not there. It's the same destruction they're leading you to, to solve your damn problem. Listen. So there are three FDA-approved medications Listen. available in the FDA U.S. for again. treatment of Use disorder. Mm -hmm. There's also other medications that are off label or not mm -hmm. officially approved for that indication, but are very effective. Wow. And okay. these medicines, for the most part, work mm -hmm. by reducing the urge to want to drink. And the bam, you listen. It's gonna reduce the urge to have a drink. So guess what? That's another wicked chemical that fucking with your brain. You don't get it out, what people? We talk about the ozempic that you poke in your belly. You might poke it in your belly. It goes straight to your brain, telling your brain not to eat. Do you get it? It's telling your brain, hey, that melon look like a, a dirty socks. Can't eat it. That's how they describe it. So yes, people, that's something that messing with your brain. You don't want that. Wow, you don't understand. Like I mentioned with caffeine, it's tricking your brain to believe that you can do these things and you hop and you can run. But at the end of the day, it's just trickery. Trickery for your brain. So yes, people, the alcohol is giving you a problem. You're stumbling over. You're getting to all these trouble. You drive and wreck all of these shits. Yes, now go to the medication. Wow, the medication going to fool your brain into not wanting the alcohol. That's another problem. That's another alcohol you put in your body. I suppose it be chemical, I should say, you're putting in your body that can come up to be a damn problem later with chemical reaction. Bam. And these medicines, for the most part, work by reducing the urge to want to drink yes, how? and the pleasurable feedback that you get from drinking. Wow. And so they can be really powerful. The pleasurable feedback that you get from drinking, the pill is going to remove that. You get some pleasurable, from, you get pleasurable thoughts on things from drinking. Your body feel pleasure when you drink. I thought you have a damn hangover. And that's not nice. Wow, unbelievable. And people even pop pills for the hangover people. So they, they, they do the alcohol, they mash them up. Then you need more chemical again to get you back up and running. 
I told you people, the world is a destruction place. All the things that they're giving you is destruction. 100% oh, in. And it's been shown to help reduce heavy drinking days mm -hmm. and also to improve the likelihood that someone can achieve abstinence, meaning not drinking at all. I think wow. many people mm -hmm. aren't even aware that there are medications mm -hmm. they could ask their wow. doctor for or that could be a part of their treatment. Yes, yeah, so what you go have to do? Take like one a day, a pill a day, to stop your brain from thinking about alcohol and make it think that alcohol is what it is. This is dumb for the masses right here, people. So guess what? Now you hook on the pills. You can never get off it. Remember, it's just there to keep you off the alcohol. Every day you take one, oh, you, you, feel, you feel like the alcohol is not supposed to be in your body. And then guess what? Now you got that pill, that chemical in you. You understand that? So guess what? Until you, when you stop taking the pills, you go back right to the alcohol. Do you get it? So look, you get off the alcohol and now you're on these pills. Now you got to weigh them now and see which one is more dangerous. Because you're going to end up on one. You're already addicted to alcohol. Now they're introducing these medications, which is bad chemical for your ass. So tell me, people, where the mass is going to go. I already told you, let these things go that they have in place to basically get you addicted and loving this earth. So I already told you about... The alcohol, I know they sell it to you. If you know this, all of these rappers that they use, you know, to entertain the people, all of them got a alcohol. All and new. All of them have a alcohol on their name, supposedly. You see Puff Daddy with the supposedly Ciroc. Not necessarily belongs to them, but it's the government people. They already put Puffy on the table and let you know him. So now he can come and sell you the government product. I already told you, all of them do it, people. Why nobody look? No, nobody pay attention. All of them do it. All of them basically go, you know, do the same rotations and the masses. Don't sleep no more. Everything they give you is part of the destruction of this earth. No doubt about it. Yes, another mag, bam. Shout out to all the patrons. We'll be back on. Bam.